The following video demonstration walks through deploying a highly available and scalable multi-tier application delivery infrastructure on top of Equinix Metal using F5's Big IP and Nginx platforms. The Nginx Edge tier operates in an active passive mode providing basic layer 4 load balancing services. In addition, the Nginx servers make use of two open source projects, BIRD and KeepAlive D, to provide BGP routing and failover, respectively. The Big IP middle tier provides advanced layer 4 and 7 traffic management and security services to the application. In this configuration, the Big IP instances can operate in either an active active or an active standby mode, depending upon application requirements and services utilized. An Equinix Metal Elastic IP is associated with the Nginx front end cluster to provide a single publicly available access point. Prior to deploying servers, I first need to update my Metal project. I need to activate BGP for the project. In addition, I need to create a Layer 2 VLAN. I'll be attaching both the Nginx and Big IP tiers to this private VLAN. I also need to request one public facing Elastic IP address. This IP address will be used for the public facing endpoint of my sample application. With that complete, I'm ready to deploy my first pair of servers. I'll start with the Nginx L4 tier. I'll select the desired region, server size, and operating system. I'll be using Ubuntu for this demonstration. Deployment takes a few minutes. Once completed, I'll upgrade the network configuration. I'll convert from the default bonded layer 3 to a hybrid unbonded mode network. This gives me the ability to associate my recently created L2 VLAN to the second interface. I can now connect to my servers and configure the necessary services. With a few minor exceptions, the configuration is identical for both Nginx servers. Rather than drag you through the installation process, let's take a quick look at what I've installed. I've updated the network configuration of each server and added an internal static private IP address to the interface associated with my L2 VLAN. I've also associated the Elastic IP to the first interface. Both Nginx servers will share the same private and Elastic IP addresses. Nginx has been installed on both servers to provide L4 load balancing to the Big IP published VIPs. Let's look at the BIRD configuration. BIRD provides BGP services that will interact with the Equinix Metal BGP environment to advertise the Elastic IP address out publicly. Since the Big IP instances will be hosted on VMware, they are unable to interact directly with the Metal BGP service. This is due to a limitation within the Metal environment. Finally, let's look at KeepAlive D. KeepAlive D is used for high availability. If the primary server stops responding, KeepAlive D enables failover to the passive secondary server. KeepAlive D essentially removes the Elastic IP address and the backend private IP from the service configuration and enables it on the server that is currently chosen to route traffic. The last thing I need to do is enable BGP on each of the Nginx instances to allow BIRD to interact with the metal environment. After giving it a few minutes, I can see that the route is now being advertised. OK, time for the Big IP layer. Since the Big IP cannot be deployed onto bare metal directly, I'll deploy a pair of VMware ESXi servers. Once they are deployed, I'll use the ESXi web console to deploy Big IP virtual machines using the OVAs available on downloads.f5.com.
The deployment takes about 10 minutes or so to complete. All right, the next thing I'll do is use the out of bound info to connect to the ESXi instances and change the default password. Each server is provided by Metal with a default password that can be used for initial access. Like the two Nginx servers, I'll convert the network into a hybrid mode and associate the same L2 network to the second interface. I'll use the EQ provided management address to connect to the ESXi web console. For this demo, I'll be deploying my big IPs in a single ARM configuration with a single interface and VLAN for the data plane. In ESXi, I need to create a vSwitch and associate it with the second interface. I also need to create a port group and associate that to the vSwitch. Deploying the big IP on ESXi is very straightforward. I'll use the OVA available on downloads at f5.com. For networking, I'll specify the VM network for the management plane and specify the backend network port group that was created for the rest. With the big IP deployed, I'll use the console to connect to the big IP and change the password. In addition, I'll change the management IP address. I'll specify an unused address from the Equinix Metal block that was assigned to the underlying VMware instance. All right, with that done, I can now access the big IPs using my management web console. From here on out, it's pretty much a typical installation. I'll license the big IPs and provision the necessary modules. I'll create a VLAN for the data plane, as well as a unique self IP for each device. Additionally, I'll configure a synchronization and failover for both devices. With the devices configured and synchronized, I can deploy my application. I'll specify a floating virtual address that corresponds to the upstream servers specified in the Nginx tier. To finish the demo, I'll use the Elastic IP address to test end-to-end -end connectivity.